I'm back today and I'm filming a vlog because GCSEs are over and I thought I'd actually show you around Cambridge today because I don't know if you've read the description below my videos but actually I went to Cambridge Uni as did this one and we met each other in our final year when we were 20 um, so yeah very nice wasn't it babe very nice. best moment of your life so yeah, we met in our final year and Martin went to Trinity, which is a very good college in Cambridge and I went to St John's College, which is the best college in Cambridge. Second best. What was that? Second best college in Cambridge. Um, so if we've got time, which hopefully we will, we'll show you around both colleges. They are really big though, so I might get a bit bored, but we'll, we'll you know, we'll try our best. Um, I did wonder whether to actually film this today because it's probably not the best Saturday to be filming Cambridge because May week was last week and May week for people who don't know about it is this like massive piss up effectively after everyone sat their exams and everyone worked so so hard so when the exams are finally done um, everyone goes crazy get, um, going to really wild parties going to all the balls jumping in the river naked that sort of thing um, and actually Mail Online loves running articles on it every single year as if Cambridge students are the worst students in the whole world um, but we're not we just like to have fun when we've been working so hard but the point is because of the May balls they're like massive massive parties and they lay like red carpet out on all the grass and the grass is usually Usually perfect and you're not allowed to tread on it because they really look after it but obviously it gets a total battering when like 600 people have been like partying on it all night long so Cambridge will not be looking its best the other thing is if my memory serves me right I think it's today when all the undergrads move out so they'll all be getting all their stuff out of their rooms and they'll be moving out with their parents and taking their stuff away so again it might not be looking its best because I don't know if you know it but the way Cambridge works is that it's a collegiate university and what that means is it's made up of, I really should know how many colleges, do you know how many colleges? Okay it's like approximately 30 colleges and so when you go to Cambridge you, you go to a single college and that's where you live and that's where most of your friends are made and then each college um, has has loads of different people for different courses so I was studying veterinary medicine so at my college in my year there was only two vets then St Catharines will have eight vets, Girton will have ten vets, Trinity have three vets that sort of thing and then together all those different colleges vet students make up the whole vet year I don't know if that makes sense I don't even know where I'm going with this but the point is your college is like it's like where you sleep it's where you eat it's where you mostly socialize um, so yeah I wanted to show you around so I hope you enjoy it guys and I'll be back soon just driving into the city right now it's actually really weird because even when I come in after all these years I still get the butterflies I got from when we first arrived on our first day and I remember feeling so sick oh my god I was so scared were you yeah terrifying. how did you feel really nervous it's like are we gonna make any friends it's gonna be really hard made friends and yes it was really really hard but yeah even just coming in now I'm looking at all these quaint little roads and people cycling everywhere because everyone cycles around Cambridge um, yeah still got the butterflies it's really strange so Grange Road has like a load of colleges so that's Selwyn College on the right um, it tends to have the newer colleges so if my memory again serves me yeah so we've got Selwyn College Cripps Court so Cripps was this family which donated a load of money to Cambridge and they kind of all the money got spent on building quite ugly accommodation actually because John's has a Crips Court 2 which is really really pretty ugly to be honest um, and then here's the football club where I used to come watch him play football because I was a very supportive girlfriend won the cup what cup was that? Cambridge Cuppers Cup what's a Cambridge Cuppers Cup? <laughs> it's the cup between all the colleges <laughs> um, I think is that the back of Tit Hall? Yeah, so Trinity Hall College. Oh god, I'm useless at this actually. Terrible, terrible tour guide. Um, yeah, Trinity Hall College gets called Tit Hall around here. And then I think, yeah, this is Robinson, which is one of the newest colleges, so it's kind of less pretty. Um, but yeah, it's kind of got a more relaxed vibe from what I understand. Oh, and this, this is the UL, which is the University Library which is quite a stark building. Is it open 24 hours or not? I can't remember. I think it's an exam time. I never was one for being in the library very much at all because, um, yeah, it wasn't really what I wanted to do with my time. But some people go crazy and they literally like work there 24 hours a day. Some people like sleep in the library. They put out like family photo frames and stuff. So yeah, it gets a bit 
wild and crazy around exam time, doesn't it? We're just walking through St John's College playing fields right now and we're one of the lucky colleges having central sports grounds and I was actually captain of the girls football team so we used to just play over there every week against all the other colleges. We've got all our tennis courts, um, Astros, netball courts. Is this a running track? Wow, it's gone fancy. We're just walking through the back entrance now because it gives you a really good view of New Court. Um, so all the colleges are laid out in quads which means they're built around central squares really aren't they? And here is our view coming up. So here's a classic college sign which is keep off the grass you find that it's absolutely everywhere and across over there is Trinity College which was Martin's College so as you can see they're really close so that was always really convenient when we were dating so that's the Wren Library and we call this bit here where it's all green apart from here because it's all dried out because it's been so sunny the backs and here's New Court which is one of my most favourite buildings and believe it or not that is second year accommodation which is just ridiculous like when we used to show our friends and family around they couldn't believe sorry <laughs> Martin had to lift my elbow because I wasn't showing it properly but yeah this stunning stunning building is New Court and if you've seen the film The Theory of Everything with Eddie Redmayne this is where a lot of it was filmed along the cloisters so I'll take us in there soon and we used to just come here and have picnics and chill out after we'd eaten our dinner and stuff. It's really nice. And then I stood on um, the, what's this bridge called? God, I'm useless. I can't remember what this bridge is called. But anyway, the bridge behind is the Bridge of Sighs, which is again a really famous bridge. And it's so called because of students sighing on their way to exams, or at least that's what we were told when we started. But you can see everyone hunting down here in the river so we'll try and get a punt at ourselves so we can show you a bit better but yeah so the college I went to is one of the biggest colleges here's more accommodation which tends to be third year accommodation and that's Trinity in the distance and um, here's the buttery which is where we'd eat dinner like have breakfast and stuff like everyone's doing right now and the bars through here which is locked um, there's always signs everywhere telling you what you can and can't do and I'm about to emerge into second court and actually it's not looking too destroyed from the ball so that's really good and that's our chapel it's a shame it's got some scaffolding on but as we're in second court I thought I'd show you where I had one of my two interviews because when because when you apply to Cambridge you have to have quite a few interviews it varies depending on the course you're studying um, I had a subject specific interview where I had to chat about science and try and hopefully prove that I knew at least something and then you have a more general interview where they ask you more about yourself and what you can bring to college life. So my interview was up these stairs which obviously was absolutely terrifying because I had no idea and I think this might actually have been where I sat waiting to be called in to this room here and there's a really nice view out into second court so walking through into third court now and it says private on this sign but because i'm an alumni which means i'm a member of the college for life it means that we can walk through and show you the sneaky way which tourists aren't allowed to see so yeah here's the private sign which i love is this chinese that never used to be here i think they're thinking that chinese tourists just ignore all signs maybe it wasn't chinese and i'm just being really offensive so yeah bridge of size we were stood on that bridge filming over this way so i thought i'd show you this way and then as we enter the cloisters are they called the cloisters god i'm useless um this is the bit where Eddie Redmayne's like shown stumbling along in the Theory of Everything film and we've even got a post, this is so Cambridge, we've even got a post office, post box, what am I saying? And there's a fellows internal mail and the fellows of the college are all the like professors who teach you and um, they have all their own mail so they can communicate obviously without mobile phones.
and this is again new court so second year accommodation again what's an amazing day to show you guys around so over here we can see formal hall am i showing you that right which is where we'd have dinner in the evening and you get to have three courses and back when i was here you could bring your own wine in so you could bring a whole bottle of wine in so it used to be a really messy occasion and obviously some people can cope with all the food and drink people would get really drunk i think someone actually threw up at their place once which was really bad and if you get caught misbehaving you get deemed and cambridge's way of punishing you is making you wear your black gown and you have to come and report to a porter's lodge and a porter's lodge is because the colleges are so big they have porter's lodges which is where there's like proper adults that actually make sure that the college is secure at night and you have to go and report in at the porter's lodge every hour on the hour for a few days or until they thought you'd been punished enough so it's actually really funny but yeah so that was that's formal hall and around here we've got the chapel which people get married at even now so that's always really nice and now I'm going to show you my third year accommodation, which is through this archway here. So I shared with my best friend Kaz, who was the other vet. So we obviously really bonded. So we'd have our names up here, up these stairs. So many stairs, absolutely exhausted. That's where my ex-boyfriend used to live. Hi Ben. Sorry, we're not talking anymore. Through this door. into here but I can't show you because the sad thing is the sad thing is life moves on and it's not your room anymore it's other people's rooms which is really sad so I don't live here anymore so my name isn't here but it was pretty cool when we did I've just quickly popped into the chapel I'm not even sure I'm allowed to film in here but this is where people get married and you can only get married here if you're an alumni again and we'd come here for even song christmas carol service etc so that was pretty cool we've just popped out the front of college and i actually can't believe how expensive it is to visit now for touristy people that is crazy expensive but i really wanted to show you this because that up there is my third year room which was honestly the best room ever it was those three middle windows Kaz and I shared in third year so I showed you the stairs access on the other side but that's my actual room was it cool it was really cool was it, it better, was a very nice room was it better than your room babe probably but just in worse college what did you just say <laughs> you heard oh my god so much abuse but um <sighs> I'll actually show you because it was so incredibly convenient going out with Martin. I think that's probably why I went out with him because he was so conveniently placed. Trinity College, this is Trinity Chapel and Trinity College is literally right there. And all oh, tourists, always tourists. If I take you through this, whoa, okay, this is very stressful. Look at the bikes everywhere, like I said, everyone's like, but yeah, if I take you through this archway here, I can show you where Martin lived. So Martin lived in here, and to be fair, it looks way smarter than John's. So John's loses on this account, and I kid you not, his name was hand-painted onto the sign. So he wins the, uh, the accommodation sign writing, to be honest. So um, let me just tell you. The reason why I didn't film us actually walk into this part of the college is the Trinity Porters are really, really strict. So literally the moment we tried to come through, they were like, who are you? What are you doing here? And we're like, please let us in. We're just looking around. We're reminiscing. And he was like, you can come in for five minutes. So we're hiding in here before he comes and tells us off and tells us to move on. I flash my magic card, gets me into all the exciting All the good places. places. This magic card, <laughs> focus. But yeah, so he's gonna come tell us off, no doubt. But we'll try and escape. Yeah, so here, there's the porter that was telling us off. This is more Trinity accommodation, being very surreptitious. Isn't it lovely, though? That guy's asking about whether he can lodge here. To be fair, Trinity is quite nice. 
she did in the port of life. Okay. Like okay. Even the laundrette. Wow. This is another reason why John's is better, because we used to get free laundry. Oh, right. It's okay. never a thing. You never got free laundry. What court's this called? This is Hewell's. I don't even know what you're saying. Hewell's. Hewell's. Should we tell them the horrible story? Yes, let's tell them. Really? So... <laughs> oh my god. I don't know if we should be sharing this. So my old room was, we should probably take his name out, was up here in this door just by the exit. Yeah. And I had neighbours, we shall call him P for now. I literally just called him. I let that out <laughs> on that bit because he keeps saying his name. Okay, P. P. So P got exceedingly drunk one day, one birthday, when some friends came to visit him. And the night ended with him tied up on this statue here, on the grass, which he shouldn't be walking on, <laughs> naked. Don't stay there. <laughs> Smeared in his don't, own don't stay there. human waste. Oh my god. Let's say the uh, the porters weren't happy to find him there in that state. <laughs> it has gone down in college folklore. That's so bad. <laughs> so bad. This sort of thing never happened at John's. <laughs> so David is the Trinity Porter. I am. And uh, he's going to tell us why John's is better than oh, Trinity. No. <laughs> 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 but do you enjoy your job? I do. How long have you been working here? Nine years. Nine years? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, get... it's a... oh, hang on. I've got. Oh, more people right. to stop. Oh. They should. Yeah. yeah, I'm literally. He's going to tell these people off now, literally. <laughs> David gets the job done. <laughs> you feeling quite special? Yeah, I yeah. am. <laughs> it's, it's all private, says Dave. Says it's all private. The main part of Trinity is also close to visitors, but we get to sneak in because this man's really nice. And he's just saying that we can go in. So we're going off to the um, the second best college in Cambridge now. Through this little door. I can't believe he let us in. I genuinely didn't think he was going to. Welcome. Welcome to... Yeah, okay, to be fair. To be fair. Um, Trinity's quite nice, to be honest. This is the Great Court. Which is pretty damn special. There's their chapel. We're overrun with chapels in Cambridge. And it's pretty nice actually having the whole college to ourselves now all the tourists have been banned. Not gonna lie, your porters are much nicer. Yeah, they're lovely. Like so nice. As soon as I know member here, yeah. couldn't be nicer gentlemen. Where's the uh, mic before I cover it with my hand again? Yeah. Um, yeah, they're so much nicer than the Johnsons. I think the Johns students are more obnoxious or something, so they're really aggressive with us. But um, the Trinity ones are lovely. And look, the scaffolding's come down. What's that centre thing called? The fountain. Oh, the fountain. The scaffolding's all come down, so that's really good. So where's accommodation here? Is so it all this around? Is, this is Master's Lodge. So the guy who runs the college, this is all his accommodation here at the top with the ivy. This is the Great Hall here, so this is where we would have our drunken formals, which were more drunken than John's, as we could take all the wine we wanted. Behind us is the chapel, that's where our friends Andy and Fee got married. Yeah, our friends actually got married there, which was quite nice. Um, yeah, what else? And the rest of it is accommodation for second and third years. It's got nothing to say, it's not very interesting. <laughs> but yeah, maybe we'll try and take you to here. I, get, I know I keep saying it, but look at this guy. He's breaking the rules. He doesn't care about the signs. He's, he's walking he's across the grass. Fellows are loud on the grass. He's, he's just he's just strolling on through, being fancy. And just to prove, here's the little anal sign saying, uh, please keep off the grass. That guy, he's just he's walking all over the grass. <laughs> I have a lovely suspicion that the um, formal halls open in Trinity. Yeah, they're setting up for a wedding. So that's quite nice. What's this court called? Huh? You can't remember. Yeah, I can't remember. You literally can't remember. You're useless. <laughs> so he didn't really actually go to Cambridge. He's just like <laughs> just pretend, pretending. Just pretending. We got the new court. This one is no idea. Are you actually ivory. kidding? I actually can't remember the name of this court. He's supposed to be clever, this man, and he can't even remember what this court is called. <laughs> Your library wins, though. That's pretty special. So when you have the Mabel, everything gets just filled with marquees, punts full of champagne, etc. It's pretty nice. Just thought we'd grab our lunch, so we've got our falafel. 
um, on the wall, which is actually right by the Senate House, and there's kings just in the background, right there. So quite a nice spot. It's actually really noisy. I mean, tourism is like exploded, hasn't it? This building here is the Senate House, which I actually sat some exams in. Um, so I basically crapped myself because that was just so nerve-wracking. And I don't know if you can see the the boards outside but those boards are where they post everyone's results when they graduate which is actually quite scary because everyone can see what everyone else got but yeah that's the senate house and we all tend to congregate around there when you graduate I'm quite enjoying this bruno mars steel drum thing going on it's really good actually while we're here I thought I'd just tell you a bit more about um, Cambridge and do let me know if you'd want a more in-depth video making about like the application procedure but basically I did biology chemistry and maths for A level um, so yeah I applied and I had to sit a test for FEMA in order to just show I don't know what, really what that test is for but it's just in addition to your A levels so I did my BMAT got my score back had my AS level results because um, we got grades then and then I got called for my interview in December and as I've already told you I had my two interviews so my subject specific one I had the more general one and yeah so I had my interview in December got my offer which was a conditional offer in January and what that is is an offer based on the fact that they expect you to get certain grades by the time your results come out at A2 so I had to get three A's because there were no A stars when I was doing my exams so I had to get three A's and when they came then I was accepted into St John's and I just started in the following October It was, it's hard work, don't, don't be fooled it was, I had Saturday morning lectures I had 9 o'clock lectures every single day, 6 days a week often was in from 9 till 5 doing lectures, labs, all sorts of cheer, tutorials it's, it's hard work but it's good fun loads of fun because um because the way you have like all your friends all around you and it's like literally living in harry potter so all your friends live down the corridors and you're in college accommodation for three whole years so you don't have to go find a house at the end of first year like at most other unis you're just in all of this accommodation so you're with all your friends all the time you organize things like swaps with other colleges which is when like the girls football team goes and has dinner with the boys football team it's how we met it's actually how we met um so it's actually really fun but like martin said it is really hard and yeah, um, as I already said, I was actually um, applied for veterinary medicine, so really I should be a vet by now. But through lots, for lots of reasons, which I think I've discussed in another video, or if I haven't, do let me know if you want me to chat about it in a separate video. I didn't. Um, I decided not to finish my vet course, so I just qualified similarly with what Martin got, and then I decided to do my teaching qualification also at Cambridge. So I did my PGC, hence why I'm a qualified science teacher for any of you guys that are like accusing me of uh, reading off mark schemes and stuff thanks for that but um i think this place tells you what you need to know in terms of how much i know my science which is hopefully quite a lot the awesome things about cambridge aside from may week um and all the balls and everything is the fact that you get these amazing people called bedders um because cambridge is full of like weird ways of saying stuff and a bedder is someone that effectively comes and cleans your room which is kind of amazing and um so i had a bed that used to come clean my room but at martin's college which um is better in this respect he had someone that literally changed his bed didn't didn't they changed his bed every week making sure he had fresh sheets um so yeah it's kind of ridiculous it's not really like being a student at all and there's all these like bursaries and things so they give you money so i remember they gave me money to buy my macbook um, because I said I needed it to study. He got loads of money to take his football team off yeah. to places like Amsterdam. Money for football boots. Money for football boots. That's a trip. Um, just loads of like donations. I had my appendix out just before I started uni, which was quite awful because it was in Zanti and I literally nearly died. But my college paid for like taxis to get me to and from lectures. So kind of big up Cambridge. It's kind of an awesome place to be. I mean, we do, or we did go to incredibly wealthy colleges and there is a great deal of variation between the colleges. So you won't find that this is typical of all colleges. So it's worth doing your research when you actually apply to work out which college is actually right for you because we went to the two biggest, richest, richest colleges. Um, and I think we benefited a lot from that, but you might prefer like a more intimate college where there's only like 60 people in your year rather than 200. Anyway, I think I'm going to sign off this vlog now. Um, I really hope you found it helpful. If you'd like a similar thing or me to chat more about the Cambridge application process, let me know because I know loads of you have set your GCSEs now so you're thinking about uni and things. 
to just leave me some comments below and I'll be back soon. Don't forget to sub or um, and or like this video and I'll be back soon. Bye guys.